Hello and welcome to lights2hack.com because knowledge is power. You decided to clean install your windows but you know after you install your windows you have to go through each and every updates again. Windows updates and lots of reboot takes a lot of time and patience. So today I will try to teach you the way to make an installation disk or an ISO file that includes all the required updates from windows so that you don't have to go through the hard work of installing updates each and every time after you install the windows before you start uh, if you upgraded your windows uh, let's say from windows 8 to windows 8.1 uh, or from windows vista to windows 7 this method will not work it just use this method with the uh, specific windows version like windows 8 or use it for windows 8.1 but not for upgraded windows so the things you will need is a win reducer uh, you can see on this website uh, 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 I have been to the download page and you can see it's a win reducer 8.1 it's just for Windows 8.1 so if you need for Windows 7 just download uh, win reducer 7.0 I suppose uh, and and like that uh, after uh, you download the software just extract it and just uh, save this folder to the desktop next thing you're, you're gonna need is a uh, 7-zip uh, just go to the 7-zip uh, website and just download you can find this download uh, link on the description below uh, after installing the software navigate to the installation folder uh, let's go through the installation process um, for once uh, after you install just go to the installation folder normally it's on uh, C drive and program files and you can find the 7g folder there just copy this to file 7z.dll and 7z.exa and uh, navigate to your place where you extracted your win reducer uh, folder uh, mine is in desktop and just navigate to home software and just uh, paste it there Next thing you're gonna need is image uh, ex and uh, oscdimg file. Uh, I have uh, the link on the description below. Just go to this uh, website and just click on get work uh, work tools dot seven z. Uh, it will lead you to the another website. Uh, a OneDrive uh, from from Microsoft. Just download it and uh, you have to open it with uh, uh, some extraction extracting tool uh, in my case I have uh, installed 7-zip so you can just open it from 7-zip or whatever extracting software you have just open it uh, there is a, a executable file and when you open it you will see a small windows uh, open and just um, select the windows uh, version that y you want to make um, the installation file of or the ISO file of so I I mean you making the installation file for Windows 8.1 so select uh, Windows 8.1 for Windows 8.1 after the download is complete it will give you the file where it downloaded the the part where it downloaded the file you can see there and uh, mine is in uh, C folder then user uh, then the username and then app data be sure that you have uh, shown the hidden data as hidden files if it is not there then you can't see the folder called app data so after then just go to the navigate to the file uh, um, then for 64 bits my computer 64 bits just open that uh, folder then you inside there you can file find these two files called um, image image ex and oscdimg just copy these two files and again copy it to the same uh, win reducer um, folder then home then software and just paste it there uh, in this way we will need some other files also um, the other things that you will be needing is um, it's uh, it's called set ACL just go to the website the description it's in the description below just download it for the administrator we need the exe file but not the DLL file a DLL file is for the developer and just open the file and you can um, find the exe file under the specific windows version 64 32 bit just copy it and paste it through the same folder uh, the your win reduce of uh, extract folder home software and just copy it there the next thing you're gonna need is resource hacker 
uh, this is already discontinued but yeah this will be helpful for our tutorial just download it uh, you can see it takes time uh, for my internet is not that much fast so uh, once it is downloaded uh, just open it and just uh, double click to run the executable file yeah, and install it uh, I'll be copy and pasting it on the desktop so I'll be having a SS afterwards also I need this file afterwards so just double click it uh, double click it and just install it after installing uh, click finish and just navigate to the f uh, folder where it has been installed mine is in C folder program and then you can uh, sorry program 86 and you can see the folder called resource hacker there just go there and just copy the file called res uh, hacker.exe and just copy it to the um, uh, win reduce uh, folder home software and software folder just uh, copy it and afterwards uh, just uh, go to the win reducer it folder and just uh, fire up the win reducer.exe file then you can see here in software detection part each and everything should be in uh, green which is on if it's not on and if it says off then you did something bad and you can see there afterwards you can see this file just choose the thing that you need I I have a windows in ISO uh, file if you don't have uh, the windows in ISO if you have a uh, installation disk then just copy all the files in a folder and choose the folder and mine is in ISO so I just choose ISO and it will take time uh, during extraction I will fast forward it and after sometimes you can see here I can choose uh, it's one 8.1 pro or 8.1 as mine is 8.1 I will just choose 8.1 and I will just click on mount uh, it may take uh, some time I have fast I'm fast forwarding this thing I uh, be patient and it will take a lot of time uh, probably 10 20 minutes uh, it depends upon your computer then there you can see so much of customization uh, you can uh, customize it in your way but the thing that we'll be needing is the system then click on win reduce of the tools and here you choose your windows uh, uh, bit version minus 64 uh, then click on update then you can see the all the updates available updates uh, on the left hand side of the windows uh, you have to select each and everything from there uh, if you want to update each and every uh, updates uh, in your windows so after selecting each and everything uh, just click on download it will take some time please be patient I am fast forwarding this um, uh, this video uh, after everything has been um, uh, successfully downloaded just click on ok uh, you can click on yes or uh, no uh, anyway you have to close this window uh, don't worry to you will be going back to the previous windows here and on the updates uh, just click on browse the three dots and just navigate to the folder uh, uh, you can see it on the windows in which folder it's uh, it's on your win reducer uh, folder work integrate and software uh, sorry uh, integrate and updates and just choose your uh, 64 bits or 32 bits file uh, you can see I'm navigating to the folder where the updates has been downloaded so here you have to give the folder where the updates has been downloaded and saved in my case here uh, normally it should be here you can say you can see for yourself where is it uh, after that thing after everything is finished you can see for the last time what are the cost customization that you'll be needing if you don't need any cost other further customization just click on finished and click on uh, apply then uh, yes uh, it will be taking a lot of time please be patient again I'm saying uh, I'm fast forwarding this video uh, it will be taking a lot of time maybe one hour less than that uh, actually mine was like I don't know, like I don't know half an hour or something Please be patient. Then ISO file creator windows will be open. After that, thing just uh, you can save it at a uh, WIM file or ISO file, uh, and uh, saving is at a ISO file. And I want it to be UEFI boot compatibility. Then I will just click on uh, save. And if are you sure to continue, click yes. And it will take time to save, and it will save it as ISO, ISO file. And if you want to make installation disk, just go go on and inst install it into the DVD, DVD file. Or make a bootable USB if you don't know how to make a bootable USB head back to lights to hack.com or you can find the link in the description below thanks for watching and always remember knowledge is power